Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at the problem where uh, some application has stolen the port. It's already using the port that we want to use for our application. How can we solve that when we are running Linux? And let's get right into it. I've already made a setup right here. I've created an application that uses, it's a Spring application that uses Kotlin. So I created this project by pressing file new pro project like this. Spring initializer, I chose Gradle right here. I chose Kotlin right there. I Right now I'm using SDK 16 with the compatibility to 11. Then I press the next. Then I ticked off Spring Web like this and then I pressed finish and then I ended up with this project right here. Then what else did I did do? Then I, um, let me just jump up in the, in the top right here. Because what, what did I do? I, I created two profiles. So I have created one profile. Uh, this is actually a set of one configuration. So it's, it's I created one one configuration um, where I can run my uh, where I can run my program with uh, yeah, which is this uh, main class right here, Git Flow application, and it uses port eighty eighty because it's default. And then I made a copy of that. And the other thing, I'm I'm just simulating that maybe. I, maybe I want to start my application with another profile, but I was not uh, aware that I have already started an application with uh, that actually uses that port. And now I need to figure out um, yeah, how to solve it. So first of all, this my application is, uh, is running now on port 8080. Of course, I know in this situation right here that uh, this is my application, but now I'm going to pretend that I do not know that. And now I want to start my Git flow application right here. That means that I need I will get a new run tab which is open down here. Then I'll get an error that which will say that um, the port is already used. You cannot start a new application. You cannot start your application. Um, it actually says right here. Look, look what it says right here. Web server fails to start. Port 8080 was already in use. Of course, of course, I know that I took this port myself, but uh, in a, it, it could be a normal situation that you do not know which application that actually stole your port. And what do we do? We start up a terminal like this, and let me just clear the screen. So here we have a terminal, and what we do, we use a tool called LSOF, LSOF. And if you just if you just call LSOF, then you get uh, yeah, then you get a lot of stuff. <coughs> but what you what you actually can do, you can actually write minus i and then colon and then the port that you want to check. And here, then you will actually get a process ID. This is the important part right here. Do we see this is all of the here we can see that something is uh, listening right here on uh, TCP wise. They're listening on uh, everything that happens on uh, port 8080 because uh, that is what that was a criteria that I added right here in my command lsof minus i and then colon 8080. And then uh, what I get right here, I can also see which user actually started it. It was MMNI. So then I know who to talk to. I could also I can also see the process ID, and this is actually what is important in this situation right here. So 15928. So then I, if I want some more information about this process, then I can write PS and then AUX. That would actually give me a list of all of the um, all of the running processes. But so then I can, then I can grab, then I can look for uh, 15928. If you don't know what a pipe is, that means the result from the piece AUX will be sent to this next command right here, which is grab. That means that um, then I can actually just look for a part and, I bought it, and what I'm looking for is 15928 because that is a process ID. And here I can see that this is what uh, what is running. Uh, and here you can see it's some kind of Java program. And if I go down in the end right here, then I can see this is the class name that is being executed, git flow application Kotlin. So already now, then I actually know which program it is. And of course, then I could, um, yeah, that, then I could, uh, I could I could go back to my workspace and then uh, close my program in a in a in a nicely manner, but sometimes you cannot do that because you actually uh, because you might not have a workspace that corresponds to the application that is running. Maybe it was some kind of other utility or application, or maybe it could also be um, could also be Docker that actually took that uh, port. So uh, what would you do? What you would do would is actually that you could you can kill the process. That's one option. Of course, it, if it was uh, Docker that you used that actually stole that with with the uh, mapping, then of course you could go and close the and uh, yeah and 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 uh, shut down that uh, container if it's your local um, development environment that you're on. But right now I I want to kill the process. So I'll write kill minus nine it means kill the with force and then we say 
here we have we have the uh, we have the ID which is fifteen to and a nine to eight nine to eight like this, and then we actually kill the process and let us look again PS aux so now it's actually gone, and if I look at port eighty eight then I and then I could don't get anything out right there so it's actually nothing running on port eighty eighty on my own development machine right now. Let us go back to our workspace. This is my git flow workspace right here. Then I'll press play once again. And then we will see if we actually can start up our application now. We should be able to because now the port has been freed up. Um, so this application could then uh, bind bind that port. And that is exactly how it, how it works. Uh, uh, an application can bind to a port on the network device. That means that uh, all the communications sent on that port will then uh, go to that application. And, and as you can see right now, my Spring application started up as it should, and we are actually very happy. If we look at my other run tab now, then we can actually see that the process was killed. So that we actually get that as the last line right here. We can actually see that the process was killed right there. That's it. It was just a small little, uh, little, little uh, trick that I want to show you. Um, again, I'll, I'm repeating the command now, lsof minus i, and then colon the port. Then you, then you will see what is running there. And then you have the process ID, and then you write ps aux. Let, let me just run it without any uh, clap command. And then I can see what's running, and then I can actually clap for uh, for the process ID, which in this situation now is 17314, like this. And of course, you can also write Docker ps to see if you have anything running in your, uh, and if you have mapped out um, if there's any uh, ports from a container to your um, to your work environment. That's actually it. That, that's just what I wanted to show you. It was um, a minor thing. I know that. But I think it is very useful to know about this. Thank you very much for watching and have a great evening. I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.